was a kid, a dream of outer space. It was the longest we'd gone in a shooting schedule without knowing if we were going for another season. Um, it would get later and later each year, but this was the longest we'd left it, and we, were, we weren't sure whether we were going to actually um, still be filming and know, and we may have all gone on. Our greatest fear was that we would go on to hiatus, the crew would take other jobs, and then we'd get the news that it was coming back and we wouldn't get to reunite with our whole sort of clan again. Um, but worse news was yet to come. It was an incredible day and I was excited because they were giving me a bit of an early mark that day because I was going to learn to snowboard that weekend and um, I was in total shock. Got a phone call while I was in the makeup chair and uh, didn't say anything and just wanted to sort of keep everyone going and have my makeup done and then suddenly all these mobile phones started ringing and people were just getting the official calls from Brian Henson. Andrew Prowse walked in and said, Claudia Black, that was your last ever scene on Farscape. And I got teary, and Lil got, and Ricky got teary, and Brian gave me a big hug and just said, thank you for all your work and for playing Aaron. And I said, thank you for this unbelievable opportunity. And um, I rang my agent, and she almost had a heart attack because she wasn't expecting it either. I mean, none of us really knew what to say. And I just remember going down to the, um, to the gazebo for lunch and having two helpings because it's all about the free food as an actor, really, and I just wanted to make sure I had a big last free, free meal. But, um, yeah, I spent the rest of the weekend in shock, not knowing whether I should cancel my snowboarding trip or... And everyone said, do it, and we'll see you next Wednesday when we actually finish filming, because normally Ben and I are in the last scene together, but this time round, Ben did the last scene with a guest actor, and we all went to set and... and uh, taped it on our little video cameras, and David Kemper read out um, a wonderful speech from um, Matt Roush from The TV Guide. We don't know for sure what's going to happen with Farscape. I, mean, I think we're still hoping for a movie, but I don't even know what our chances are of that. But to know when I came back from my snowboarding trip that we'd made it onto CNN on two consecutive nights and then another night the following week, and that it was the fans who'd achieved that, not our publicity departments, try as they had. It was the power of the group, of, of the mass of people that are out there watching the show. Uh, they found their voice in a way that they hadn't had to previously. And I'm so sad for them that we can't continue to make something that they love so much. Farscape has meant to me family more than anything and has been reinforced by going to conventions and meeting people who have a mutual love of the show and an enthusiasm for us as well as performers. It's like we all know we're going to die someday and you'd rather not face that reality and now that it's happened I just kind of think well it was going to happen someday. It didn't happen on our terms but not many things do in life and we should be so proud because five percent of all TV shows make it to a fourth season. So I think we did remarkably well all things considered. We didn't do anything wrong. We did a great job. And they cut us off before we finished telling the story. And I've talked to a lot of people, and Andrew and, and Ben. And the big regret is we didn't get to finish the story. And we all know that the house is like 80% painted. But we didn't screw up. Now, for those of you who know who Matt Rausch is, he's the influential TV critic for TV Guide, which is the biggest magazine of its kind in the States. And this is the guy. Moya no more. I couldn't be more disappointed to hear that Sci-Fi has opted not to support a fifth season of its signature series Farscape. Since its unexpected and unheralded, unheralded arrival in March 1999, this lavishly produced space adventure quickly established itself as the most irreverent, unpredictable, sexy, intelligent, and exciting sci-fi show on TV. By comparison, 
Enterprise is a lumbering dinosaur. Ben Browder and Claudia Black have incredible chemistry and are surrounded by some of the most vivid and compelling fantasy creatures ever created. Farscape is a joy to watch, and I've always been puzzled about why its rabidly loyal audience hasn't swelled in numbers each season. The show requires attention to be paid. Maybe it's too much TV for some people, but the rewards are great. Meanwhile, an inert movie like the latest blah Star Wars epic rakes in the bucks for no discernible reason I can think of except for genre fans' lemming-like devotion. For sci-fi to cite economic reasons for denying fans a final year of Farscape would seem to be at odds with the network's mission as an entertainment brand. This decision is likely to be compared years from now to NBC's short-sighted cancellation of the original Star Trek. This was made in Australia by Australians. This is the best science fiction show that's ever been made for television. You guys are great. <laughs>